Hey everyone, attorney Matthew Legan Sanchez here. Today, let's talk about sole legal custody in New Mexico. The first thing you need to know about sole custody is that there's two different types of custody. There's legal custody and there's physical custody. Legal custody means the right to make decisions on behalf of your child with religion, education, medical, extracurricular activities. That's legal custody, it's decision-making ability. Physical custody, on the other hand, that deals with your time with a child. Now, people use legal and physical custody interchangeably, but they're different. So for instance, you can have legal custody, so legal custody, meaning you make all the decisions on behalf of the child, but your ex can still have time sharing with the child. So just because you have sole legal custody, doesn't mean that you have sole physical custody. So even though they're commonly used interchangeably, someone will say, I want sole custody, you can have sole legal custody and still have shared physical custody. Courts believe that children are best served by parents having joint legal and shared physical custody. So if you want sole legal custody and physical custody, you're going to have to show something pretty big, something major to show that it's not in the child's best interest for both parents to share joint legal and physical custody. Your reason for requesting sole legal custody is gonna need to be something big. It's gonna need to be something like severe domestic violence in a home, drug or alcohol abuse that poses a danger to the child, um, mental abuse, CYFD physical uh, abuse or neglect that's been substantiated, violence in the home, DWIs, multiple and alcohol abuse that poses a danger to the child, restraining orders, something like that. That's a good ballpark to think about with like the major aspect that the court are gonna look at and be really concerned about. Basically, it's gonna be, need to be like a oh, oh my type of situation where it almost shocks. It's gonna shock someone as to what's going on. There are also some bad reasons to request sole legal custody and physical custody. Bad reasons include, you know, you want to get back at your ex, you want to call all the shots, you're used to calling all the shots because it hasn't been established, so you want to continue that. The other parent, they're not really a danger to the child, there's no major issues, but you know, you just want to call all the shots, you want to say what it is, you know, like their boyfriend, you know, like their girlfriend, you think your home is better than theirs, you make more money, you have a better job, those are bad reasons. Court's going to hear those and be like, okay, yeah, those are, those are reasons, but they're not good reasons, they're not sufficient reasons reasons to show that the child is best served by one parent making all the decisions and certainly they're not best served by one parent having all the time and the other parent being cut out of the child's life. So you're going to need to show something major to get sole legal custody. So what are your chances of getting sole legal custody? It depends. That's the classic lawyer answer. I used to hate it in law school when the professor would say, well, it depends. And I'm doing the same thing to you. It depends. It depends on your case and your facts. Is it something really big? Is it something concerning? Is CYFD involved? Is a restraining order involved? Does the other parent have clear issues with drugs or alcohol or mental health issues that pose a danger to the child? It depends. It's going to depend on the facts of your case. If you have questions about your specific facts and whether you can get sole legal custody, you need to speak with an experienced custody attorney. Speak with me, Matthew Legan Sanchez, call 505 Sanchez, and we'll look at your specific facts and we'll see what the likelihood is of you getting sole legal custody.